What it do, y'all? I'm bringing y'all the fire out the three, four bear. Uh, everybody been waiting for it's a cover to invert. I already uploaded the where we at the Buck SS three and the uh, Pinch Mike O. You know what I'm saying? Not the Buck O, the Pinch Mike. I already uploaded that. But now I want to talk about the uh, cover to invert flip, y'all. Gotta flip. Make sure it's flipped. It's the, oh, I didn't repeat to my faster. My bad. Damn. Trying to find a formation with two people in the back. Got to make sure I piss my faster anyway. My bad, y'all. My bad. Y'all don't want Tamaha Lee doing this. Y'all want to make sure y'all fastest players, DB, like, look, I'm going to show y'all. This guy right here, you want to make sure you got your fastest dude right there. Eric Berry, cool. I guess he cool. But make sure you want to have a fast linebacker here, like forward. And then you can have, yeah, oh, that's a cool lineup. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, make sure the play is flipped. You just gonna um, pick a play where you can max protect, whatever. So y'all gonna see I'm max protecting. The setup, this how the play looks. Now just just stick with me through the setup. All you wanna do is base the line, pinch your D line, crash them to the middle, shift your linebackers to the left, re blitz that linebacker, and then uh, blitz that safety right there. Just hit Y Y wide and blitz them. Then QB contain. Now right here, I will probably put this guy in a flat, and then I'll probably man up that guy. I don't know what I would do, depending on, but this is what I would usually do. Make sure I watch the flats here, or i do something like this, move him out and man him up on A, just so the only place I am worried about is over here. You know what I'm saying? But like, I only use this blitz. Like, I got, I did get so comfortable with this blitz, I can't use this every play and make adjustments, but like, you send in, you're going to have to force them to block a lot of people, but make sure y'all practice this blitz and I only use this blitz like, okay, it's third and 15. He can't throw to the flats. He got to go deep. So why cover the flats? You know what I'm saying? That's the situation I would use this in. But, like, if it's third and short, I don't recommend this unless you get really bold with your adjustments. Because this is what I use. I usually do something like this on this play. Uh, Like, this, this is what I usually do. Oh, where we at? No, I usually do like this. Usually do this. Uh, this is just what I got used to doing. And I'll probably man him up and I'll shade over the top. Because, like, y'all gonna see how fast this blitz is. If they won't really have time to. Like, look, they blocking them, they max protecting. They're not gonna have time. And then once you start sending this blitz, I don't recommend y'all do that setup. But y'all can just do the normal setups. Uh, like, y'all see, y'all can do this, do that, make sure you cover the flats. Or if you really get comfortable, like, y'all you don't want to be clicking on people. Like, just use your quick adjustments, RB, RB, and then RB, RB. And then you can adjust both, you can adjust people from there. You can stay on this user. I usually come sit, like, right here. Uh, I usually sit right here, and if they run the ball, I'm like, okay, third and long, you run the ball, I just go over here and play help D. It's still good D. But then now you're watching a flat, and you can watch this guy. If they block it. If you see no one's in a flat, boom, just go back to user in the middle. That's all you want to do. Let me max protect one more time for y'all, boys. You see he max protecting. He's just coming through. There's nothing he can do about it. Coverage on the field is immaculate. Especially if you make the right adjustments. Like I said, don't just run this play stock. Make sure y'all make adjustments. Uh, usually, best make sure you use this in third and long situations at first. Because, like, if it's third and 18, or, like, Okay, it's third and it's third and twelve. You can have a three yard slant, bro. Like I can get back and use it at before he gets the first, or like if it's fourth and ten. But like I really wouldn't use it like that because right now I'm not using nothing. I really wouldn't use it at. I would just use it as slant. Uh, but like I said, you can't really do much. Like they can't do much when you got all these people coming off the line of scrimmage. So one more time for y'all. And it's that easy to set up. Like, I'm already done with my adjustments and everything. Like, like I said, once you get the hang of it, and if they don't block anybody, then you're just going to get that B gap piece. Sometimes you come up to A gap. Like I said, uh, like, it's that fast to set up. Like, I got so used to setting this blitz up. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Sometimes if you want to make it worse and you got time, you can move that guy out. And then it's really going to come screaming like, like, come on, like, oh, this blitz is just amazing. I haven't dropped this on my YouTube channel yet, but I hope y'all enjoy this. Uh, be sure to practice this blitz, but let's get to the rest of it, bro.